Alright. That'll work. And we are on. I can't hear you though. We're gonna have to be in gameplay, you will. Unless you want to do it through the audio. We can do it that way, Lucas. That'll probably be smarter. Here, I'm going to send you an invite. I would see where it switched back. Oh, it did. Still in there. Okay, cool. Alright. You just press the PlayStation button again. You should be. Alright. Alright, we can go ahead and ready up then and start. I guess this will, uh, I guess this starts off our first, uh, live broadcast. I agree with that. It would be fun to note, though, that we are nowhere near pro players. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, there, there's still a chance to start. No, no. Right now. A normal spot. A normal spot. Don't even need to. One thing that everybody will find out though is we have the same number of spots that we go to every single time. I don't either. I'm gonna land a little bit earlier and try to hit this house before anyone gets to it because it's close to us. I'll try to land down there real quick, take all the stuff from it, try to give us a little bit of an advantage to it. I think there may actually be someone in here. 
All right, it's up to you how you want to handle that. They're doing you wrong. Yeah. Well, you know the you know it's still prioritized, so at least they can hear you on in-game audio comments, so you can critique my gameplay as we go through this. Same with Lucas, and we'll make sure to like and share that as much as possible. Every like helps. Typically, typically though in the game, we try to find places after just running around and looking for things, we find places that's a little bit on the offskirts of the map, on the outskirts of it, but it has the most rewarding loot to it. Instead of just laying in a random place and trying to go around, at least you'll have some type of weapons and gun play to at least get started and venturing to the circle. But that changes tonight, though, because we re we recently both have headsets now, so we're able to do in-game commentary and able to talk to each other through the game. So we do know what is happening now in real life time. Yeah, I'm at uh, Ryan's house, and I didn't have a mic, so that's why part one didn't have any talking in it or anything. So we went, got a mic, so that's better. But if you're watching this right now and feel like we don't know what we're doing, please refer to the first part, uh, first video we posted mm -hmm. because we did a lot better starting out there. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot faster paced compared to this. But if you play this game, you know this part of it. I think that's one thing that everybody can agree on, though, is Fortnite is a hard game to play. Oh, yeah. There's just so many different variables that you got to put in to the actual gameplay. It's not one of those just camping and shooting games or anything. It's just you gotta be on top of your game on all aspects and everything. And I'll go ahead and say one thing that I'm still learning on, which you will probably see through the videos, I am still working on the whole building aspect, everything. I feel like gunplay wise, I've, yeah, I'm okay at it. But that's one thing where Lucas is better at that I'm not that you'll see as we progress through is I'm the building and everything. It's just like, when I see people, I'm just a straight running gun. Whereas if I would have built at least one wall, I would have probably had some type of cover to help me. Uh, and even with the building, I'm a little bit better at the building, but I'm still trash compared to like what you would normally see on YouTube. Which a lot of it's repetition too, though. Is these people build the same fort every single time, and the more you play through the game, the more you'll realize that um. It's all the same maps. I mean, it's all, you know, I mean, it's all usually all the same circles, all the same. It's all on which way the bus is lining up, but a lot of the times we'll end up further away from where the circle is at. But within doing that and going away from the bus uh, flight pattern, you'll be away from more people and you'll be able to easily find a lot more ammo chests and treasure chests and all that that no one's even had a chance to find or even knows about, probably. As we can see here, I'm about to. Start my first combat. And I don't even know where he's at. So we're going to hide in this bush here. And just like that, we are out. Don't feel too bad about that, though, because I don't even know where that came from. So, uh... Be better this time. Mm-hmm. He's hiding on me. Alright.
also feel like the later it gets, the harder it gets to play. I feel like more people probably like get on people that have you know what I mean that don't maybe don't have a job or whatever that this is their entire life. They're finally waking up from the game night before and finally getting back on. That's very possible. For everyone watching, that's the key to a successful, key to a successful match. A little break dancing in the beginning. See that? Ray agrees. All right. So if you look down there, that map also has. I really feel like there's going to be an extension of this because that's actually a runway. So I would love to see this be, this be added. Um. I honestly feel like the brick house would probably be best, you don't think? Because it's like further out to the left. Like our second one. Our second location, which I'm sure we will get to before this is over. It's um It's a little bit better chest wise, but if you can manage to make it out here without a whole lot of people following you and you can be the first You'll get a lot of good weapons out of it. You can get some crazy amount of building supplies from here without anyone ever coming up to you. I feel like this location is way overlooked. I don't think anyone goes to it. And also it's good for like, you know, getting the bricks that it's getting wood. I mean, it's not getting metal, but... Better in wood. Looks better. Looks better staircase-wise. So, we have a choice to make. Do we engage? Which you're there, so we definitely engage. Rule number one is to never leave a teammate behind. And I automatically see a burst weapon right here, so we will jump in and grab that. Oh Lucas isn't down yet. All the way. Alright, well. Here we go, trying to... That was a little bit of... Alright, they're still there. I can hear their footsteps, so I don't know where they're at, necessarily. You hear them? I'm gonna stay... Right, we're gonna stay put for a minute. Let's get this chest, and that is what we're looking for. With some caliber bolts added to it. Okay, someone is in the... Someone is in here now, so I feel like they're probably about to come up with stairs. I'm gonna switch to this uh, submachine gun. A little bit shorter range and a little bit more of a high fire rating, so. All right, here we go. All right, so we took him out easy with that one. Um, uh, Like I said, really, when it comes to guns, you always wanna keep a wide variety because you never know what situation you're gonna get into. So I try to keep a little bit best of both worlds in there. Try to try to spice it up a little bit, just in case. Always gotta keep the variety. What's a little salt without a little pepper? <laughs> and when I die, which hopefully won't be shortly, I will do vice versa. The main, the main thing too is like when you're playing duos and you do have a worst case scenario to when your teammate dies, is to, um, you know, you got to pick and choose your battles. And what I mean by that is I don't mean to hide, and you know I don't mean you know wait for them to run by. But in a sense, you have to pick a pivot point to where you're both gonna catch them off guard, and that's when, you know what I mean. If you have like the three round bursts, like the assault rifle that I have. You can um, easily, you know, maybe for a little long range hits or this like scope that I have right here for a few long range hits. And then once they see you and hide, there's nothing wrong with switching to the submachine gun and rushing them. Because at the end of the day, it's not camping that wins the games. Because it's a scary thing to get into. But eventually, you do have to see that right there. See them, they're kicking a soccer ball around going into that house. So I would. 
I'm gonna switch to uh, my three round burst. I find it to be more accurate. So, here's the hoping that we don't get ambushed. And as I get closer, I will switch to the submachine gun again. He still is in this house. I can hear him running around. There's a chest in there too, so. Okay, you hear him, he's, he's going for it. So what we're hoping to do here is hopefully ambush him. Hopefully catch him off guard. Like he's got a... And it failed. So guys, this is a prime example why you switch to the right tool. If I would have a submachine gun, he's at 10 health. That would have been a third kill. We live and learn though. Alright, let's go ahead and ready up. Dude, I don't even remember how to post on Facebook. How to Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Mic check, mic check. One, two. Behind, uh, let's see if I guess it. Oh, I was guessed wrong, but I do agree with that. So I'm going to try to go ahead and jump now and maybe get a little bit of a head start. I think I actually have it already in my sights. This is hands down would be our second most used location, without a doubt. When it comes to uh, when it comes to loot wise and everything, this uh, this house is regarded to one of the most uh, prestigious loot crates in the game. There's a every time that I've ever been there, there's been at least two loot crates every single time. So there's one for me and for him. I'm looking at two right now. And that was just not even, so he's gonna get the one up there and then I can just drop down here. And even on top of that, if anyone were to come through the front door, we already have somewhat of an advantage to be able to drop down and get him. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit through the house just in case. See, so that, and I don't know, I mean, I, I'm, like I said, every single time, like, Lucas has already a legendary sniper rifle. Oh, I already got two, two uncommon guns. Alright, so this is the part of the game that we were talking about. We, we definitely aren't the best at picking and choosing how close the circle will be, but it's never a bad thing. Because at least everybody will already have their stuff built up and we can make it in the long way. <laughs> I feel like that's one thing we always get stuck in is running from the storm. And we do always run from the storm, it seems like, trying to get closer. But at the same time, though, I feel like in a lot of ways it's almost beneficial to us because a lot of the times, like I said, if people are having their forts built up, they have a lot more def defense against us. But at least we can come in you know what I mean, get close to them most of the time without them even seeing us. I think uh, he said he was going to get on later tonight, or hopefully so, because I'd love to, uh, 
I'd love to try squads now that everyone's got mic'd up and everything to see how that goes. Always seems like it. Okay, so Lucas is going to pause his real quick because I got to get him to get a status bar to go away so he can see a little bit better. So if you hit the share option real quick, Lucas, and go ahead and go into the broadcast settings. All right, and uh, from there, go into advanced settings and uncheck that box, a display message. There you go. And then you can go ahead and go back. That's just because you paused your gameplay. All you gotta do is just exit out of that screen now and get back into it. And now we have full, we got full screens and everything. So, so there we go. It'll, it it'll allow us to see a tad bit better. bridge okay so if you want me to I will go into the okay, it's down. and see that didn't work for me very well uh, I'm currently being blasted to nothing all right well they're up there by the rock formation they're probably coming down your way like you might actually get around them I tried going up high but it definitely didn't work Okay. All right. Phase two is now complete. Definitely wasn't a definitely wasn't a kill, that's for sure. I mean hey. Alright, third time's definitely the charm. <laughs> Believe it or not, we've actually got in the top twenty five before. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it, but I got a stats bar to where I can show everybody to prove it. More than any man should. More than any man should. Uh, I'd also like to shout out the two people that are actually watching me broadcast right now for the first time. You know what I mean? We're still trying everything out, so that's good. Also, you know, watching me, if you like what you see, or if you like, you know, a good laugh every once in a while from Fortnite, you can also head over to my cousin's page. Link will be in the description and watch him as well. Yeah, yeah like I'm sure we've said before, 
like like we said before man for anyone that is currently watching this is our first time playing so if you are a beginner in fortnite you are in the right place because this is where you want to be lucas what do you think about that location out here So oh, man, it's you know. <laughs> you know, also too though, if you are if you are watching and you do play Fortnite for the PS4 and everything, you know. It, Again, like I said, our gamer tag is Lord Jenkins XV and Future Nations. If you would, you know, if you ever did want to add and play, that would be awesome. It'd be cool to play with people that actually watch the channel and stuff. I'd love to do that. Okay, they're going to the ice cream truck and everything. There's two chests right there, so we need to be cautious about that. Um, I'm landing a little prematurely on that. Excuse me. Oh my god, I landed short, dude. Thank, thank you very much. I never did. Let me know in the comments if you can use those traps because I sure don't. And maybe I should. And if you have used those traps, how well they worked out for you. Because I. I could see situations where they would work out. I'm not saying they never would, but. I feel like how me and Lucas's game style is. I feel like we're always on the move until it gets on until it gets to about top, you know, top 25, and then we panic because we can't believe we made it this far, right? <laughs> you know, and then they would definitely they would definitely come in handy, you know, uh, without a doubt. So. If you want to, I can. Is it up on that top one? Yeah. Alright, so we can... Are you in here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Always gotta check to make sure. Alright, let's go ahead and switch and try to... Actually, I guess we can just build like that. I've, I've never tried coming in this way before, so let's... Uh, there we go, it did work. So, you see, nothing really crazy with that, just light ammo bolts, which I already got a submachine gun, so I guess I will swap that one out. Hey, bring it down for me. Hey. I need everything. I'm always one to help the needy. Let's see, let's go to the backpack, and we'll go ahead and drop that for you. Alright, so... Good thing though is like for the first time I think since anyone's been watching, uh, we are inside the circle. Oh. Hey, hey, Lucas, if I, you know, I gave you that submachine gun, so if you want to, <laughs> he, that's all that blue sniper rifle you picked up. What a, I'll trade you something. No, don't worry about it. I don't have anything worth trading, man. Because <laughs> I need something for long I mean, I, all I have is just a three-round burst, which you can look at my screen and see. Uh, I, you know, I don't. Yeah, the ar the arsenal is good for right now. You know what I mean to make it for a kill or two, but then we'll, we'll loot somebody hopefully. Because they are right to the west at 285 degrees. If we want to be technical. Well, uh, I, I'll tell you what, if we can get up here and head towards the center of the map, I'll climb that and show you because that is a complete lifesaver. And to be dead honest, I've not seen that in a video yet that I really don't feel. Don't, don't yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, we're not saying, but I mean, like if you're at the top, now don't do anything like crazy style slides, but if you land here and spin like this, I mean, you will never... You rarely run, like, 
it will damage you every once in a bit. But you see how steep this is as a slide. And if, if I just like get on it, you see that was no damage at all. And it works for pretty long distances too. I know me and Lucas has survived a good bit doing stuff like that. I would think, uh, look, so I, from the circle on the map too, like I said, if you're new to it, if you're not, you already know, Anarchy Acres and Tomato Town, there are always going to be somebody there, but I feel like Anarchy Acres has a lot more to offer than Tomato Town does, like loot-wise. Tomato Town may have more coverage and everything, but I feel like Anarchy is usually the place to go, which hopefully in the next gameplay we can show that to, uh... They are a guy, but in the next gameplay, there's a little strategy I like to run at Fatal Fields that it, if you move fast enough and you can land first, you're almost guaranteed to kill every time as long as you can hit them right. And most of the time where we land at, there's just one chest to where half the time anyone in there just has a pickaxe to where it'd be easy kills and get you started out with some extra experience points before the game starts. Also, too, if you're inside the circle, uh, there's no real way of telling where the end game, where it's going to put you at. But it's always a good idea, like like Lucas was just talking about, to make sure to have extra materials and stuff in case a building situation does happen. But if you're inside the circle, there's not really anything to go to except just to try to, you know, get someone here and there try to see if you're in the circle that's see that's if you look at it from the opposite side how that helps is at least you'll be able to post up somewhere if need be and just let them come to you probably wouldn't be a bad idea another thing too is if you sprint while crouching it won't show the clouds behind you but standing up and sprinting will show the clouds behind you so if you're trying to move stealth yeah, if you stand up and sprint, you see the clouds be behind you. Like, I can show them on my screen. Like, if you sprint real quick, yeah, you can see him running. But if you watch when he crouches real quick and then takes off sprinting, nothing. You get the little kick up when he first starts, but there's nothing. So if you're trying to move kind of stealth-like and you're near woods or anything, that would be a great idea to keep you more covered. that'll work which that's almost a given anyhow as well if you can get to the high ground take it because you have so much further sight distance to where it doesn't even it doesn't even compare as they're traveling downwards You know, another thing too, though, is also for people that's like looking up videos on the game and it happens to stumble across me and Lucas's video, for being a free-to-play game and for being a battle royale, you're not going to get any better than this. As much as the game has to offer for being free, I mean, it's amazing. If, if you buy the game, like, there is an actual, like, a co-op, like, a PvE to the game. So, it's more, like, zombie-related, and you get different heroes and stuff. You can level up and everything. But before I even started playing this, which I learned about this game from Lucas, um, I'm a die-hard Call of Duty fan. I play it all the time. That's why I played forever until I started playing this. But... I mean, there's really no comparison, like, on addictiveness of games so far, which I know a lot of people that play PUBG, if they don't like the realism to it, this would be right up their alley, because it's the same game. So we're running, we're getting ready to start sell. Okay. Are they in the woods, Lucas? No, they slid down the mountain. I think they're down 
Okay, so this, see, this would be good though, because if they're running. Do what? Okay, I see them right now. Lucas, you're a little bit closer than I am, so. Oh, it's right. Different angle. Hold on, boy. Oh. She's down. She's down. Now, do they have a. Was there a second person with her, do you know? No, but I Yes, there is. Lucas is gone. So. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, I see him. Okay, I don't. I, okay, there's two of them. So in a situation like this, I don't really know how to um handle that one because if oh, obviously if I shoot towards them with a sniper, I mean, what good is it going to do me? My best bet is to uh, switch to this suppressor, and I'm going to let him come up and try to loot them, and then I'm going to try to jump out from behind, which is going to happen right now. And you see it works. I, I, he's down. So, yeah, but I want to make sure that he doesn't have another guy coming to him. He's going to, this guy's out, like, obviously. Like, I mean, he's not getting back up. And another another successful tip, too, um, is if you leave them crawling, you know, I mean, he's, he's losing XP right now. You know, he's losing health points. Um... If his team member can try to come and revive him, you know, I mean, you can get him down in your area. Like I said, this, the SMGs I feel like are overlooked. All we got to do now is just wait. Like, he's a ticking time bomb, so we can just go ahead and just lay that man out real quick there. Because you don't want to lose out on the kill. See, there he is right here. So let's try to hit him. He doesn't have shields. I ran out of ammo. So, you know, that you know, I could have switched. I mean, I finished seventh though, so I can't be too upset about that. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, if you look at the damage players, I, I was, I was an all right game. If I would have switched weapons, went like to the pistol because he didn't have shields for some reason, it's not let me like circle out of this. Yeah, it's almost like it's kind of glitching out on me there for a minute, so. But, got to level 19 off of that, so it's all good. Let me see if I can't just drop back in. Uh, well, it's not letting me control anything. I can't even get out of that now. You can try if you disband the party and invite me again. Maybe I'll get me out of it to get back. But that was a pretty decent game, though, I'd say. I mean, that's, like I said, there is a way of picking and choosing your battles. So. Okay, so. Yeah, just uh, what what you can do. Lucas is from that screen. If you get out of that real quick, if you press start real quick on the or the options button, you can hit leave party down there, and that'll disband us. Okay, and then you can reinvite. And hopefully that'll. Oh, right, just go ahead and go to what you do is it go ahead and exit out of that. All you gotta do is like press the right directional pad. On your directional pad, just press right into that plus and then hit X. And then you can go down, you'll see me. And then just press square. And they'll say an invite and hopefully it'll let me. There we go, I just got it. So we'll join in. Okay, so I'm about to have to close my game out and restart it. It's glitching. Yeah, it is glitching pretty good. So we'll just... Uh